time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, let's talk a little weather right now. Marisol Castro here with another check for us this morning. Marty, good morning again. Good morning, Chris and Erica. Good morning, everyone at home. Most folks have been saying, geez, the people that need the rain really don't get it, and the people that need the heat aren't really getting it. So here's, here's a broad look at it. So here's this low pressure system. Just behind it, we're looking at temperatures that are way below normal, in part because once the severe storms move through there, it leaves colder temperatures in its wake. Ahead of this storm, you can see temperatures well above normal, 94 in Nashville, 103 in Columbia. Now, those high temperatures are also responsible in part for the drought covering much of the southern tier of the United States. Uh, even while a, a drought in Norfolk, north of there, all the flooding, unusually uh, record, unusually high snow and record rainfall. If only we could get all that water to the desert southwest. Not a lot of precipitation, but the winds do diminish somewhat and the temperatures are around seasonal. That's a look at the weather across the nation. Now let's see what's happening right outside your window. Combo today. Thanks so much. That's your latest weather. Now he's Chris. If money was no object, if you didn't have to pay for gas, mm -hmm. where would you go this summer? Central Pay. Central Pay. <laughs> nice. Okay, Sorry. but if you're staying... Wrong. Yeah, they don't want to hear us sing. You remember the Yellow Brick Road from oh, the yeah. merry old land of Oz? Where did the idea for the Yellow Brick Road come from, you ask, Christian? Uh, Peekskill, New York, maybe? Correct. <laughs> well, at least according to that town's historian. Oh. It's quite a theory. If nothing else, he's a wizard at marketing. Ooh. Oh! Uh, cheesy puns on line one. Yeah. Welcome back to the early show, half past the hour. Erica Hill along with Chris Raggy. By the way, nice to have you back. I missed you yesterday. Well, good. Thank you so much. Happy belated it. birthday. Thank you very much. Yes, it was a uh, quite the birthday weekend. Needed a day. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Had a charity event yesterday, so took the day, but thank you. It's good to be back. Also ahead, uh, could this be look at that project? Also ahead for you in this half hour, summer travel discounts. We'd all like some of those, right? As well. Boy. It's a really complicated situation. It is. It sounds like one of those, you know, kind of darned if you do, darned if you don't it's, in a lot of it's ways. It's very true, and that's yeah. the problem policymakers are facing right now. Rebecca Jarvis, thanks as always. And now here's Jeff standing by at the news desk with one final check for you this morning. Past the hour. I mean, nice Jeffrey, no video, one wants huh? to see Bambi go down in a hail of rushing water. I, I never wanted that to happen. I was cheering the whole way, Good. as you, as were you. Rock on. It's the feel-good hit of the summer, yeah. and it is... The first day of summer. Do you, Erica, do you love that transition? I know you do. I do. <laughs> Here's a look at the lower 48. You can see uh, west of this low pressure system, high pressure rains. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous, although we did have some snowfall in the higher elevations of Colorado for the first day of summer. We have this enormous swath of severe weather, not as nasty as yesterday, but it covers a larger area. So we go to the west coast. You can see San Francisco and Medford temperatures well above normal. Uh, Seattle 73, Los Angeles 82. That's right on the money for this time of year. And it's the first day of summer, 116 in homage. Here are your cities, Lakeside, Nebraska, 67. That's a little bit cooler than normal. That's a look at the weather across the nation. Now let's see what's happening. Thanks so much, that's your latest. And now here's Erica. Chris, thanks. With gas prices around $4 a gallon for much of the country, plenty of folks are rethinking their usual summer road trips and vacation plans in general. And that has many hotels around the country offering incentives to get your business. Early show consumer correspondent Susan Copen has a closer look at some of the discounts for you and the families taking advantage of them. CBS News, New York. Summer travel deals range from gas gift cards and free hotel nights to kids eat free offers, even spa treatments. And there are deals also for people who carpool or take mass transit. As a boy, so this is the yellow brick road. As far as we can tell from the maps and the documents and Frank's own accounts and the story, yes it is. As this would be the way to leave mentally. It's a theory, and as unprovable as it may be, the citizens of Peekskill are running with it, fueling a campaign for a tribute to the author of Oz Lastrated in the book. I feel like they're on the yellow His plan is to show up in the book. Peekskill historian John Kearns convinced should old treasure in his backyard. What if this isn't it? It has to be. So for him, there really is no place like home. Well, Baum's book has sold millions of copies and has been translated into more than 40 languages. And the Judy Garland version of The Wizard of Oz, which didn't do so well back in 1939, is now called by the Library of Congress the most watched movie of all time. 
It's that audience. Peak skill is hoping to attract. Yeah. It's I've kind been... of a neat idea, actually, if you can imagine that yep. strip of, of yellow brick road right there with the lions and everything else that the sculpture showed you. Yeah, it just kind of puts the, you know, underlines the whole thing yeah. for you. Why didn't you wear your shoes, Dorothy, when you were walking on the yellow brick road? <laughs> I did. You know, those were feet friendly shoes I had on there. <laughs> those are my tongs. These are not too easy. Good job, Michelle. Thank you. Have a great